in this video i will explain about sign convention for spherical lenses right we know about the cartesian coordinate system because nowadays cartesian coordinate system are used for sign convention of lenses right suppose this is a lens convex lens right <coughs> this is the optical center right this is the x negative axis and this is x positive axis this is y positive axis and this is y negative axis right for understanding sign convention all distances will be measured from the optical center o if you will go towards x axis from the origin i am saying here this is positive value of x and from this point to the negative side that is towards the x dot is the negatives of the uh, values of the x similarly the distance are measured um, from the optical center in case of a lens okay and uh, if we go from the optical center to the x axis it is positive if you go from the optical center to the x dot axis it is negative similarly if we go towards the y axis it is positive and similarly towards the y dot axis it is negative right so <clears throat> here first of all i am drawing the lens diagram for an object right so object is kept suppose at this place right so if we write the various distances of the lens then here ob is the object distance right similarly ob dot is the image distance right from this point to this point right and of is the focal length or of dot object distance is usually written with the letter u and the image distance is represented with the letter small v and focal length here i have already written with the letter small f okay the image distance is positive here that is it will be considered plus v because it is in positive x direction and the object distance that is ob is on the negative axis so it is negative okay and as the focus is taken on the right side and so it it will be also positive okay because the incident ray or the refracted ray considers from this point if it will be considered from this point then we will take it as negative f right which will happen in the case of the imaginary image formed by a convex lens and these are the sign convention okay if we will take here concave lens then we will also use the same sign convention okay for derivation of lens formula uh, the similarity between triangles will be used here right first i will consider the similarity between triangle abo or aob and triangle a dot ob dot right here i am writing watch it in triangle aob and triangle a dot ob dot right what we are watching here angle abo equal to angle a dot b dot o and it is equal to 90 degree right this one and this one right the next we can <coughs> observe here that angle aob this angle is equal to this angle which is vertically opposite angle right it is equal to angle a dot o b dot right 
as the two angles are equal therefore third angle that means equal to angle o a dot b dot that means triangle a o b are similar to triangle a dot o b dot right therefore i can write a b by a dot b dot is equal to o b divided by o b dot right and this is okay now i will use again the similarity theorem between triangle <coughs> this triangle triangle c o f and a dot f b dot right therefore in triangle we see similarly angle c o f equal to angle a dot b dot f and it is equal to 90 degree similarly angle c f o equal to angle a dot f b dot same case vertically opposite angle as the two angle of the this both triangle is equal that means this is equal to this and this equal to this therefore this angle will be equal to this angle that means this one right therefore angle o c f equal to angle f a dot b dot i think it is clear therefore i can write triangle c o f is similar to triangle triangle f a dot b dot okay so therefore similarly i can write <coughs> o f or no we can write c o by a dot b dot equal to o f divided by uh, f b dot f b dot right i think it is clear this is equation number 2 or this equation can also be modified um, that c o is what c o is equal to a b or we can write a b by a dot b dot a dot b dot equal to o f divided by f b dot na and i will name this equation as to right because it will be more easier <coughs> for us okay so this is equation number 2 right now comparing equation 1 and 2 we can write equation 1 and equation 2 we can write the left part is same this left part and this left part is same therefore we can write o <coughs> we can invert it also of right this f b dot can be written as o b dot minus o f why i am doing this because f b dot is not the lens parameter okay it is equal to f but we can write in case because o b dot is the image distance and o f is the focal lens that's why i am converting it o b dot minus o f so this can be written as this f b dot can be written as okay now we are putting the all the value okay o b dot that is v right o b dot is equal to v by o b equal to object distance that is minus we can cross multiply it right and this is equation number 3 by dividing the equation number 3 
we get vf by uvf right so it becomes ff cancel vv cancel 1 by u equal to uv uv cancel minus 1 by f plus uf uf cancel into 1 by v or <coughs> i am taking this to the left side and i am transferring 1 by u to the right side we get uh, 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u and this is the lens formula right okay <coughs> uh, it is normally written like this 1 by v minus 1 by u equal to 1 by f okay so uh, i think it is very easy to derive the lens formula this derivation is not compulsory for the class 10 student but you can know this right for appearing competitive examination okay size of the image formed by a lens depend upon the position of the object from the lens that means at what distance the object ab is placed in front of the lens depends on the size of the image formed right so what is magnification in a more theoretical way if you want to define the magnification that means linear magnification so it may be stated that linear magnification is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object ab here a dot b dot is the height of the image and ab is the height of the object so uh, here magnification will be equal to height of the image okay so height of the image a dot b dot divide by height of the object ab right m equal to h2 by h1 where h2 is the height of the image and h1 is the height of the object and m is the magnification right linear magnification can also be obtained in terms of image distance and object distance right so here image distance is this is point o ob dot ob here this o and this b we also usually symbolize it with letter v by u okay so magnification equal to h2 by h1 equal to v by u right keep this in mind because while solving the uh, sum of the physics <coughs> you will need this formula right